Kurt, another solid year for the National Football League. They're the only sports league where the average team is worth over a billion dollars, $1.17 billion to be exact, 5% more than last year. What's driving the valuations? Well, we saw revenues up about 4% last year. You know, that certainly helps. Uh, not much growth in local revenue. We didn't see any new stadiums come online. Uh, but the big growth really came in the national revenue streams. Two things fueled that. Uh, the new Nike deal, last year was the first year we had the new Nike apparel. It was a really hot seller. And then also the NFL Network. Uh, there are you know, millions more households came to deals with Time Warner, uh, and that really helped uh, fuel revenues for the NFL Network last year that gets spread evenly across all 32 teams. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, five teams went up more than 10% uh, in value. Right, the double digit winners, if you will. Of course, you gotta throw Jerry Jones and the Cowboys. He always finds a way. He's got that new stadium naming rights deal with AT&T. Uh, $500 million over 25 years. I'm sure some of that is soft costs for, you know, the technology and so forth, but uh, finds another way. He's on the top of the list, 2.3 billion now, the most valuable NFL team. And then, you know, you're talking about new stadiums. It's looking like Atlanta's finally going to get their new stadium. That's, right. uh, they're, they're definitely getting the public financing. The NFL is going to lend them the money for that. And then, you know, the Patriots, they're always right up there. Great stadium deal. Uh, I think the second highest ticket price in the league, just 10 cents below the Jets, yet they're always sold out. The Texans now, you know, they're, they're, they're really an up-and-coming brand. Uh, last couple of years, playoff caliber team. The Rams, you know, I think that may catch people, some people by surprise. Why are the Rams up 10% in value? Hey, you know what? They're portable, right? They won the lawsuit against the city. They can move so, beginning in 2015. Someone's going to look at that and say, you know what? If I buy this team, I'm not going to be stuck in St. Louis, which really has never been a big football market. You, know, you talk about market, Detroit, the only team on our list with an operating uh, loss. Um, Obviously, the city going through some tough times there. How much uh, what's been happening to the Lions financially has to do with what's been happening to the city? It certainly impacts uh, the team. And, you know, you look at the cities in bankruptcy right now. Uh, you know, they, I mean, they're obviously having big problems. You know, they've had a net uh, migration out of the city of 140,000 people over the last five years. You know, it's a dwindling population base. That's fewer and fewer fans to buy tickets, to buy merchandise. You know, companies are struggling in Detroit right now, so that really hurts with, uh, they've had a problem filling luxury mm. suites. Uh, they were able to raise ticket prices last year, but they really haven't had a lot of pricing power um, because of the economy, and also because they've been so bad on the field until the last couple of years when they've had a little more success. Uh, you know, but part of the reason also for them losing money last year, they spent a ton on payroll last year. Calvin Johnson had a big uh, option bonus. Um, so, you know, their payroll was up uh, north of $140 million last year. And, you know, that's a lot of money to spend for a market size like Detroit. And there was also a lot of private money that the team put into financing their stadium. And they have uh, considerable stadium revenues every year that go towards uh, the debt payments that come out of our operating income. Do you think, you know, you're the expert for Forbes on cities and how good their business climates are. Is this city poised to rebound and, you know, in a sense, enable the Lions to rebound? Or do you, or do you think the Lions are really going to be struggling vis-a-vis -vis what's happening in the city for a while? I, I think it's, it's absolutely going to hurt them. You know, you're not going to see an influx of people coming into the city. Uh, that are going to allow them to, you know, increase the demand dramatically. Uh, and, you know, as you mentioned, you know, they owe all this money on the stadium. You know, the Lions always have, you know, they're not always losing money, but we've had them losing money in recent years. We've had them, you know, making single-digit uh, millions of dollars in profit. You know, they're always at the bottom of the list in terms of profits. And, you know, I don't see a rebound in the economic fortunes of Detroit coming anytime soon. Um, you, know, they're, you know, they're struggling to get out of bankruptcy right now. Um, so, you know, I think the Lions will continue to struggle, uh, you know, unless they have, you know, a, a terrific, you know, uh, performance on the field, make a Super Bowl run, you know, that obviously uh, could really help the fortunes of the team. But without that, uh, you know, I think they're going to continue to, you know, struggle to make money.